हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टुडे इन द सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद माय पोएम क्रॉसिंग द बार बाय एल्फ्रेड लॉर्ड टेनिसन सो चिल्ड्रन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस पोएम आई वुड लाइक टू मेंशन दैट यू हैव टू रिवाइज योर पोएम थरली सो दैट यू कैन कोट द लाइंस फ्रॉम द टेक्स्ट नाउ लेट एस सी द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द सेशन बाय द एंड ऑफ द सेशन यू विल बी एबल टू understand the poem with its detailed analysis explain meanings of difficult words as used in the context of the poem identify and understand literary devices used in the poem so children before starting with stanza one explanation i would like to tell you that the poem crossing the bar is a short lyric lyric is to express writer's emotion though in a way it is an elegy Now, what is elegy? It is a form of poetry in which the poet expresses grief or sadness. So, children, before starting the explanation of the poem, let me tell you that the poem was written during the Victorian age, when Darwin's theory of evolution, which states that new species arise naturally by a process of evolution rather than having been created by God. and many other scientific discoveries had shattered people's faith in religion and god many people lost faith in life beyond death such thoughts were highly upsetting to men of faith like tennyson for some time tennyson remained wavering his faith was rudely shaken but then he was finally able to overcome all his doubts he was able to regain his faith in the immortality of the human soul and the existence of god crossing the bar is one of tennyson's prominent poems it was written when the poet was 81 years old after his serious illness it may be considered his testament as well as his epitaph now let us see the word meanings of stanza 1 so the first meaning is sunset the time of the day when the sun goes down and night begins here nearing end of life evening star the planet venus when it is seen in the western sky after the sun has set call call means call of death moaning it means long deep sound usually expressing pain suffering or unhappiness moaning of the bar low murmur of the sea bank of sand is suggestive of the barrier between life and death between this world and the next world put out to leave a port means harbor now see stanza 1 first of all we will read the lines sunset and evening star and one clear call for me and may there be no moaning of the bar when i put out to sea Now let us start with the explanation of first line sunset and evening star so here the poet notices that the sun has set so what is the time of the day it is evening and the evening star is visible in the sky the sunset children it is a metaphor for close of life the evening star here refers to hesperus it is associated with calmness that comes at the close of the day in other words the poet anticipates the end of his life now children see the word sunset and evening star first of all it is alliteration now what is alliteration children the repetition of consonant sounds in two or more neighboring words so which sound is being repeated here the sound of s s of sunset and s of star the second literary device used here is metaphor now what is metaphor children a metaphor is a figure of speech that describes an object or action in a way that isn't literally true but helps explain an idea or make a comparison the sunset and evening star a metaphor for the end of life now in the same way the word sunset is a symbol Now the poet has used symbols to enrich the texture of the poem and reveal the deeper meaning. So here sunset symbolizes advanced age 
and impending death of the speaker and who is the speaker here the speaker here refers to the poet now see the next line and one clear call for me and may there be no moaning of the bar when i put out to see so see here the second line and one clear call for me here the poet says that after one clear call the ship will sail out of the harbor across the sandbar at the harbor's entrance and into the sea so children i have told you in the summary that the poet uses the journey by sea in the poem as a metaphor as he compares his journey of the soul to the next world to the journey by a ship that has to cross a sandbar and sandbar is symbolic of what it is symbolic of the barrier between this world and the next the next here refers to the world after death so here the literary devices are first is alliteration so which sound is being repeated c c of clear and c of call second literary device used here is metaphor what is metaphor here children clear call is a metaphor for the call of death one more literary device used here is symbolism clear call symbolizes impending death and may there be no moaning of the bar now what is poet saying he wishes that no one should cry or weep as a sign of mourning when he departs from the world when i put out to see what does this last line mean children it means that the poet is hopeful that his ship will cross the barrier smoothly to enter the main sea now what is the barrier here for the ship it is the sandbar this sandbar is symbolic of the barrier that divides this world from the next now let us see the literary device children so the literary device used here is first is moaning of the bar is metaphor now what is metaphor bar that is a sand bar a ridge between the harbor and the sea is a metaphor for the boundary between life and death another literary device used here is personification so what is personification children it is a figure of speech in which an inanimate object or animal is given human like qualities here the bar cannot actually moan or cry it has given human like qualities that it can cry so i hope that you are clear with explanation of stanza 1 now let us read the explanation of stanza 1 from your workbook an unspecified ship is about to sail on a long voyage at sunset as the sun descends the light of the evening star that is planet venus rises to act like a beacon light for the mariners after a formal announcement the one clear call the ship will sail out of the harbor across the sandbar at the harbor's entrance and into the sea so here the word descends means move downwards beacon means a light or other visible object serving as a signal warning or guide at sea now let us see the next slide here the journey across the bar is symbolic of the crossing from the harbor of life into the dark unknown sea or after life and the clear call is the call of impending death the speaker hopes for a gentle crossing out of the harbor one without any turbulence associated with moaning of the bar the sandbar that separates the harbor from the sea is a demarcation between life and death turbulence it means violent or unsteady movement of water demarcation means to be a dividing line now let us see word meanings of stanza 2 the first word is tide it means a regular rise and fall in the level of the sea caused by the pull of the moon and the sun moving means movement seems asleep means seems to be quiet and calm to full means to deep sound means roaring of waves 
foam it means a mass of very small air bubbles on the surface of a liquid here it is c that here refers to ship ship which is soul boundless without limits or infinite deep from a depth boundless deep means infinite ocean turn home again means set out to return journey here to the soul's journey back to its home now let us read stanza number 2 but such a tide as moving seems asleep to full for sound and foam when that which drew from out the boundless deep turns again home now children through this poem the poet has compared his impending death to crossing a bar so in this stanza the poet talks about the inevitability of death now let us see the first line but such a tide as moving seems asleep so here what does the poet say he says that when he starts his journey by ship there should be a high tide so that the ship easily crosses the bar which is the bar children the bar here refers to the sand bar here tide is suggestive of smooth and peaceful transition of the speaker from life to death now let us see the literary device used here first of all is personification what has been personified tide tide has been personified and given the human like quality of being asleep another literary device used here is symbol tide is a symbol of the experience of dying moving calmly and securely so the poet has used tide as a symbol symbol means he wants to give a deeper meaning of this word now let us see the next slide too full for sound and foam what does the speaker want here children the speaker wants the fullness of the tide without any turbulence that is the tide should be calm so figure of speech used here is alliteration so which sound is being repeated f f of full f for and f of foam children let us see the next two lines when that which drew from out the boundless deep turns again home so children here that is referred to soul soul here is referred by the word ship and boundless deep here refers to infinite ocean so what does the speaker say here he says that when his soul here refers to ship enters the ocean in order to go back to its home the tide should be full so that his soul which is referred to ship can go into which world can go into the infinite world that is world after death so these lines are suggestive of speaker's soul returning to eternity released from the bondage of flesh and blood his soul would be ready to go to heaven from where once it came the literary device used is alliteration here the repetition of sound that is w of when and w of which turns again home home is a symbol of earth the idea of being born again now let us see the explanation The speaker wants a tide that is too full for sound and foam and whose moving seems asleep so that his ship could cross the harbor and enter the sea here the tide is suggestive of smooth and peaceful transition of the speaker from life to death the speaker then refers to the tide as the one which drew out the boundless deep turns again home This is suggestive of the speaker's soul returning to eternity, just as a tide returns to the depths of the ocean, silently with no turbulence. Here, the poet has drawn attention to the fact that the journey into death is merely a part of the cycle of birth and death. The going out is in a way returning home to the boundless deep. What is boundless deep, children? It is infinite world.
from where the speaker like everyone else came from where we all have come and which cycle he is talking about cycle of birth and death now let us see word meanings of next stanza twilight a faint light at the end of the day after the sun has gone down evening bell refers to old age dark dark here refers to darkness which is refer to death farewell the act of saying goodbye to somebody when i embark when i start my journey when i die so see the lines children twilight and evening bell and after that the dark and may there be no sadness of farewell when i embark now let us see the explanation of line 1 twilight and evening bell so children in the first stanza we have read about sunset and evening star which is replaced by twilight and evening bell in this stanza it shows that the time has passed since the speaker began the poem so here the poet associates the approach of death to twilight that is a short period after sunset and the evening bell is suggestive of the death knell that is a traditional ringing of a bell to signal that a person has died now let us see the literary device here first is metaphor twilight and evening bell they are metaphors they both refer to a time of day but they are metaphors for the speaker's advanced age and impending death so another literary device here is symbol twilight is a symbol of impending death and advanced age of the speaker and after that the dark and may there be no sadness of farewell when i embark so here the poet says that soon there will be darkness so what does darkness here refer to children it refers to death and may there be no sadness of farewell when i embark so here the poet says that he does not want anyone to feel sad at his death he wants a cheerful exit from this world now let us discuss the explanation of stanza 3 in this stanza unlike the first stanza where the speaker hears a clear call here he hears the sound of the evening bell at what time of the day at twilight after twilight there is nothing but the dark here the evening bell is suggestive of the death knell a traditional ringing of a bell to signal that a person has died it is a metaphor for the speaker's advanced age and impending death sensing his end the speaker hopes for a cheerful departure one with no sadness of farewell when he embarks on a new journey embarks means begins now let us discuss the word meaning of stanza 4 born means boundary bear me carry me while moving the flood here refers to the sea far far away to the next world the infinite world have crossed the bar have died now let us read the lines for though from out are born of time and place the flood may bear me far i hope to see my pilot face to face when i have crossed the bar now let us discuss the explanation for though from out are born of time and place the flood may bear me far in the final stanza the speaker points out the significance of his journey he feels that this world is subject to limitation of time and place however the world where we go after death is free from such limitation which limitation children limitation of time and place let us discuss the literary device used here first is alliteration f of 4 f from is being repeated mean sound of f then o sound is repeated in out and r now born is a symbol now what does it symbolize it symbolizes boundary that separates this world 
from the next world the flood flood is again a symbol it symbolizes sea the poet has used another symbol that is far far symbolizes into the unknown that is death and he has used alliteration in the line by repetition of sound f f of flood and f of far now let us see the next slide i hope to see my pilot face to face when i have crossed the bar so the poem crossing the bar is all about accepting and embracing death rather than fearing the dark unknown so the poet in these lines says that after death everything is eternal so the poet says that once he crosses the boundary between life and death and enters the infinite world he is hopeful of coming face to face with whom children with his pilot pilot here refers to god so he calls god his pilot as it is he who guides man both through life and death so literary device used in this lines are first is metaphor pilot is a metaphor as it stands for god man shall meet him face to face after death the another literary device used here is alliteration the sound of f f of face and f of face here is repeated the last literary device used in these lines are metaphor we have done it in the beginning of the stanza that bar it is a metaphor bar that is sand bar a ridge between the harbor and the sea is a metaphor for the boundary between life and death now let us read the explanation In the final stanza the speaker points out the significance of his journey. He is confident that after crossing the bar that separates the harbor and the sea this journey would lead him far beyond the limits of time and place where he would be able to see the pilot face to face. In capitalizing the first letter in the word pilot the poet has equated the pilot with god. but god in the guise of a qualified mariner who steers the ship through troubled waters in and out of the harbor steers means be guided in specific direction here the speaker hopes to see the pilot after he has crossed the bar tennyson himself has explained this by saying that the pilot had been aboard all along identifying him as that divine and unseen who is always guiding us so i hope that you are clear with the explanation of the stanzas so your homework is to plan question 1b that is explain the symbolism present in the poem crossing the bar you have to write this answer for 6 marks using the hints given below tennyson has used a number of symbols in the poem to enrich his poem and reveal the significance and deeper meaning of the poem Symbols used in the poem: sunset, evening star, bar, tide, twilight, sea, sailing, and pilot. The deeper meaning of these symbols and their significance in depicting the theme of the poem. So you have to elaborate this answer. So children, I hope that you are clear with the poem "Crossing the Bar." And again, I would like to mention that you have to revise the poem thoroughly so that you can quote the poem for getting good marks in your exam. Thank you very much.